Good morning and welcome back to another episode with me, Luke, where we talk about all things crypto. So in today's episode, I'm going to get straight into the Bitcoin price in just a second. As you can see, Bitcoin is holding up, holding up pretty well uh, and it has been over the last few weeks, even despite the, the FUD uh, that we had uh, last week surrounding CZ and uh, Binance. So I'm going to show you if you're trading on the, the daily, um, then this is definitely for you. And if not, then uh, you can still stick around because I'm going to show you some uh, trading techniques for those that want to uh, get into trading. So, again, everything I say is not financial advice. You have to do your own uh, research um, and also uh, train yourself. Look at um, other YouTubers, not just myself. Um, but it's all on you guys to do your own research. So, again, this is only for educational purposes. So I'm going to jump into that in just a second. Today, everything is in the green. I mean, it's green right across the board. Um, all the altcoins are up. There's only like one or two that are in the red, like uh, FTT, LEO, RLB, whatever this is. What is this? This is Roll Bitcoin. Okay. But everything else, uh, you've got Stacks, you've got Luna, you've got Sol, um, Tia, uh, Hex, etc. Everything right across the board. Um, is doing pretty well today and for the weekly I mean it's even better so only three days in and um, everything is in the green of course in the altcoins uh, it can re reverse pretty quick but are we having do you think we're having a mini altcoin uh, season especially if we look at the month um, you just see again right across the board everything is in uh, the green and for the year I mean, it's been a, f a pretty good year um, as well in altcoins. But over the last uh, month, week, do you think we are in a, it looks like we're in a, a mini altcoin season. But again, this is nothing compared to what will happen during a Bitcoin's parabolic uh, bull run. So, yeah, it's exciting times. It's always nice to have some uh, profits, uh, especially over the November uh, winter period. It's always nice. Um especially through uh, December as well. So again, we're coming to the end of another month and uh, I did predict on the Bitcoin price that we would continue to go, uh, that we would November would be a green month. So I'm going to look at the statistics this week to see if I was correct. It hasn't been a fantastic month of November in um, uh, Bitcoin. I think the pump that we had last time was through October. And uh, yeah, so, but we, I mean, we've held up pretty well. So we'll jump over to the Bitcoin price in uh, just a second. Just some news. Uh, the spot Bitcoin ETF approval lined up by the SEC. So yes, the SEC did uh, postpone uh, yesterday. The, uh, they delayed it, uh, the Bitcoin uh, ETF application um, until uh, January. So is there a possibility that the spot Bitcoin ETF approval will happen between the dates of January the 2nd to the 10th? And the expert goes into this in a bit more detail. So we have um, in this um, article, it, it talks about um, ARK Invest, which has its final deadline on January the 10th. So for sure, next year, we're going to see most likely uh, this ETF come 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 around, and um, you know these things with the big institutions, the SEC, they they talk to each other. It's it's just all about timing. So I wouldn't be surprised if um, we see that um, early next year. Definitely not the end of this year, but sometime uh, before the the next uh, Bitcoin halving. So. When this happens, would it be a buy the rumor, sell the news? So people are you know jumping into altcoins and into Bitcoin, and, and then when this thing happens, do you think we're going to see a dump directly after the ETF, or do you think we're going to go straight into this parabolic uh, bull run um, with uh, Bitcoin? Personally, I think when the ETF happens, if it happens in January, then we're going to see a dump. Why is that? Well, because before the halving. Before Bitcoin halvings, usually we do have a dump anyway. So 
I think this will be a buy the rumour, sell the news, and we're seeing that right now. Altcoins are exploding, and they have been over the last month, year, and then with Bitcoin, it's holding up pretty well. And yesterday, we had a little rally uh, of about, let me see, what was this? This was about 3 4%. And despite all that bad news last week, we haven't dumped. So if we do see the ETF come at the end of, or in the middle of uh, January, then I expect, uh, it's just my opinion, of course, I expect to see a dump uh, straight after that news, maybe a couple of days, a couple of weeks. Um, and then uh, going into uh, March, April, we'll start seeing that uh, recovery and that parabolic run just after. However, if the ETF happens around April, during the um, Bitcoin halving, then I think that would be different. I think we would see um, a quick parabolic run uh, to the end of 2024. But again, that's just my uh, opinion. So yeah, congratulations to those that uh, are buying um, or have been buying a dollar cost averaging into uh, crypto, into altcoins. Well done to you. Hopefully you're enjoying uh, your profits. So anyway, go, going over into the Bitcoin price. Again, today's episode is going to be very quick. So like I said, Bitcoin over the last uh, couple of weeks has held up pretty well, despite CZ uh, resigning last week and all the problems with, uh, with him. And uh, the, whatever's happened has happened then. Um, yeah, Bitcoin has uh, held up pretty strong. Unlike when we had the FTX, and the, the terror news a couple of years ago, everything collapsed. So this is a good sign. Nothing has uh, collapsed because of this news. So it just shows how strong uh, Bitcoin is uh, right now. So again, on the daily, again, as a, I'm a swing trader, I don't uh, trade on the daily. I, I look out for swing trades. And if you've been following me, one of those trades that I mentioned um, that I uh, was doing the swing trade with was all the way down here at uh, 28, uh, 20, it was around 28.6 or 28.5. So if you've been following me, you'll know that uh, I called this um, bull flag. And right now we have been going, uh, well, we've, we've gone up about 32%. So for me, I personally prefer doing swing trading, but if you're a day trader, then I'm gonna show you a nice little setup uh, right now. So again, we're in this uh, megaphone, uh, uprising, um, uptrending megaphone pattern uh, that, we're, that we're in. Are we going to keep bouncing in these uh, channels or are we going to shoot past the 40k mark before Christmas? So just diving into the lower time frames, if we go to the one hour, and I'll just uh, fit this to scale, there we go. Sorry about my uh, my voice. I'm still getting over the cold of last week. It wasn't great. Okay, so what am I seeing here? Well, it's not the best, and it's probably it's just me looking at this. I can't even call it a bull flag. It it looks like a bull flag. I'm gonna just play it like this. So it I don't even know if it's a, a bullish pennant, um, a bull flag. It's in between, but anyway, for sake of argument, let's just call it a bull flag. And uh, the rally started here, so there we go. So, again, we're in this bullish trend. We had this nice, as you can see, this nice W here. Uh, this nice W pattern. So if you traded this W pattern on the lower time frames, I didn't see this yesterday. Um, so I didn't even mention it, but congratulations to those that uh, saw this uh, W because you would have made a nice uh, 2-3%. So on leverage, again, you've got my Bybit account uh, or uh, Bitflex um, just below in the description below. And you can sign up uh, for free um, and start your trading. So that's in the description below if you want to use my uh, Bybit or Bitflex, uh, Bitfinex or Bitflex, I don't remember, uh, affiliate link. So. Where are we headed? As you can see, this thing has already broken out, so I'm a bit late to the show, but if you want to jump into a trade here, this should give you a price target 
of around um, 38,500. So, I mean, it's not uh, a, a big, yeah, it's not going to make you a lot of money uh, now from here. It's only what, 1%. So, if you're using 10x leverage, it's 10%. But personally, I wouldn't even trade this, but I just wanted to show, um, you know, we've got this W and this. Um, bull flag let's call it so let's see what happens over the next uh, few hours over this day but yeah again if we go back to the larger time frames the the daily even the weekly let's go to the i like looking at the weekly and just to show you where you are where we are in bitcoin in the stream of time of this uh, accumulation phase um i mean we've done pretty well since uh, the lows of uh, 15,000 all the way exactly one year ago. Um, yeah, it's almost one year, it's November 21st. and So exactly one year we've rallied up for 150%. So, and this, the zone here is literally, it's just the accumulation phase. Even though we've slightly, we've gone up 150%, altcoins have rallied again. Some altcoins have done a, a two to 10 X, um, but, like I keep saying, this is just the accumulation phase and it's nothing, if you're new to crypto, this is nothing compared to what will happen uh, next year uh, during the, the next uh, bull cycle. So as you can see, this blue line represents the Bitcoin halving. We're getting ever so close now, only a couple of months away, a few months away from this event. And so if you're, again, not financial advice, but what I'm doing, I am trying to accumulate as much crypto as possible uh, leading up to um, April 21st. So that's just my plan, that I'm buying as much as possible until April. I might buy into May, but then I'm going to stop and let the thing uh, ride um, until the end of the year. And I'll probably start selling um, some of my crypto um, by September, October. And then let the rest uh, ride if we go over into uh, 2025. So that's about it for today, guys and girls. Again, uh, yesterday, if you want to check out my video about crypto gaming, uh, today I don't have time uh, to go into that. But uh, tomorrow and probably Friday as well, we'll look at some more crypto games together and more about the Bitcoin price. So enjoy your day, guys and girls. Enjoy your Wednesday. And uh, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe, smash the like button. It's great for the algorithm and for my channel to grow. And also for all those involved in crypto on YouTube. So please, uh, it, it doesn't uh, cost anything uh, to smash that like button. Hit the notification bell as well if you subscribe. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow. So thanks again, guys and girls. And I'll see you tomorrow uh, evening. Bye-bye.